Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. As you can see, we have literally just finished filming the crystal collection video. So what we're gonna do now is basically disperse all of this throughout my house. So I know that there's a lot. Okay, we're gonna go through like room by room, like stereotypically what is the best crystals to put in which space. We're gonna start from the front of the house, work our way through, and I'm gonna tell you which crystals I would recommend putting in what room to maximize both the crystal's energy and the outcomes that you would want. So let's get into it. Hello, so welcome to our entryway. <laughs> uh, so this is where we're gonna start off. So this is more about energy of, you know, when people come into the house. So if you've got, you know, friends, relatives, etc., coming over, this is where you want to put those protection crystals, those cleansing crystals, all that sort of thing to make sure that there is no like you know, negative energy coming in the house or staying stagnant or anything like that. So let's get going with this area first. Let's start with the entryway. So we want some of these protection crystals here. We're going to have a little bit of black tourmaline, I think. Some hematite, where's the hematite gone? A little bit of hematite, lovely and some black obsidian, again, to guard against negative energies. We're gonna grab some smoky quartz to transmute that negative energy into positive energy. Next up, we want a little bit of cleansing and spiritualism. So I think this little piece of selenite here would be really nice by the front door just to maintain that lovely serene energy. Then we're gonna add some green aventurine to a welcome uh, wealth, prosperity, and good luck into our home. Finally, we're going to add a bit of pyrite. Welcome wealth, abundance, and prosperity into the house as well. So these are the crystals that we're going to be working with in this space. It's not a very big space. Um, I don't know. I mean, most people's entryways are quite small, especially in the UK. So yeah, it's going to be quite cluttered, but we will get there. So as I said, this is quite a small space and this shelf is basically the only place where I can put things. So I'm just gonna basically set out the crystals up here now. Um, and yeah, then the entranceway is done. We're gonna be putting this piece of black obsidian here cause it's waterproof. Um, so it doesn't matter if it gets splashed by any of this stuff here. So I've just put the tourmaline, hematite and smoky quartz here. So kind of keeping like the protection crystals near the front door. And then we move along and we've kind of got the serenity of the selenite and the wealth and abundance of the green aventurine and the pyrite. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I think it looks good. And we've got the little piece of obsidian down there by the sink. So next up, we kind of have an odd layout in our house that this is basically like kitchen dining area here. Um, so we're gonna fill this space with crystals now. So we're gonna start off with some pieces, I think, of clear quartz for their cleansing and amplifying energies. Then of course, we I had this in here before, so this is, I can get it without hitting the block, a lovely big chunk of rose quartz. Again, all about that loving positive energy and bringing it into the living space. Next, we're actually going to add a piece of jasper to the kitchen just to bring that kind of grounding, stabilizing energy because I feel like lots of people live, you know, in the kitchen is kind of like the heart of the home and obviously there's lots of different frantic energies going in and out of the house from the kitchen. So I feel like this will help ground things nicely. Then, of course, we're going to have some jade for that luck, wealth and prosperity. You can kind of see the theme that I'm going for here, bringing in abundance, wealth and love. I'm also gonna put this selenite in the kitchen as well, again, to create that lovely crystal grid. And I also like to decorate with crystals. So I'm gonna put the geodes over on the Welsh dresser. So this is basically the Welsh dresser in our kitchen where we store a lot of our like cups and plates and stuff. Uh, so this is quite nice shelving to store all these crystals. So down here, we've got some, the jade, jasper and quartz. And then panning up here, we've got the selenite, a lovely geode, a nice piece of rose quartz tucked behind there. Um, and I did actually put the cow side of me there just because I think it looks really cool. 
kind of against in that against that plant in the corner. So I have also tucked a little bit of rose quartz here. So this is actually down on the bottom of our island. Um, again, just to help any loving energy because this is the main walkway here. So this is the finished uh, like kind of kitchen dining area. So I always struggle to know what to call this. Um, so we can see on the island, we've got beautiful piece of amethyst for a bit of calming energy. Down here, we have some rose quartz for our grid. And then along the back on the Welsh dresser, we've got all the selenite, the geode, all of the other little tumble stones down here. So the jade, quartz and jasper. I'm really pleased with it. I feel like it feels really, really nice in here now, especially as I've got the fire going. <laughs> it's so cold today. But yeah, I'm really pleased with this area for now. So for the bedroom, I'm going to take a piece of amethyst for its calming, gentle energy. And I'm going to do the same thing with this celestite and also this lovely big piece of blue lace agate there, which I like to have on my bedside table. We, I'm also going to put this massive piece of rose quartz back in the bedroom, but I'm not going to pick it up now because everything's going to fall over. <laughs> and I also have this lovely little piece of rose quartz on my bedside table too. And I'm going to put this black agate on there again to absorb any negative energies and to prevent bad dreams. So this is our bedroom, it's our kitty, and those are the crystals that need to be put in their homes, basically. So we also have a bookcase over here which can store maybe a few crystals, not many, but yeah, this is what we're working with. I've just dumped them on the bed, so hello. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get going. Next up, we're going to do the bathroom, which is this space behind me here. Um, you can see the sink there. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll pan around and show you in a minute anyway. But anyway, we're going to be thinking about which crystals are calming, cleansing as well, because that's what you do, isn't it? When you come into a bathroom, you come to get clean, wash the day off, all that sort of thing. So let's figure out which ones will be best for this space. So these are the crystals I've chosen, um, just a bit of quartz and again another piece of clear quartz for that kind of en energy purification. The same with some amazonite, again just to keep the energy cleanse, calming, you know, wash away any, any anxieties. And again with this crystal grid for rose quartz, for self-love, um, you know, happiness, all that sort of thing. I don't like to put loads of crystals in the bathroom just because I worry about them being in such a damp environment all the time. But yeah, these are the ones I'm happy putting in there for now. So this is the one I'm going to put by the sink, the Amazonite. And then up on these shelves, I thought was a really nice place to put the rose quartz and the clear quartz. And finally, the clear quartz can also go here. So these are all of the crystals that I have chosen to put in our office space, which is what's up next. I like to use these either as coasters or I do have some bookshelves up there. So that's where I'm going to put all of these lovely agate slices. And again, they just sit really nicely on shelves. I'm also going to put malachite on there because it's a great stone uh, for manifestation and transformation to help me whilst I'm working. Some pyrite to manifest some wealth again whilst I'm working. I'm putting two pieces of Lapidolite up there for that creative stimulation. Of course, a bit of rose quartz to complete the grid in our home. And then lastly, we're also gonna add in some fluoride again for that creativity too. So I'm now in our 
office, which is where I norm which is my normal filming space actually. It's where I normally do my videos. And we are gonna be putting crystals mainly on the shelves in this room because they've got loads of shelves above my desk where I have my loads of books. <laughs> um and I'm gonna put a couple on my desk. But there's not really a lot of like surfaces, if you know what I mean, in this room to put things on. I mean we have a windowsill but we also have two cats. And there's, you know, crystals on window sills with cats is not a good combination. So, yeah, it's mainly going to be going up on the shelves and I'm going to be putting a few bits and bobs on my desk too. So here are my bookshelves above my desk, which I won't show you too much of because it's a bit of a mess. Got all the agate along here and up there as well. Oops, sorry, and the lapidolite on this bottom shelf along here for creativity. And I've also put some rose quartz on top of my tarot cards too. This is pretty much everything that is left. So this is all going to be going in the living room. Um, I will show you the piece of storage I use actually for a lot of these smaller pieces now. So this is an amazing uh, printer's tray basically. I found it in a flea market and I gave it a good scrub a bit of sand and put some wooden um you know like sealant on it so this lives on our living room wall as you can see and it is like the most perfect storage for crystals the lovely little pockets will fit so many different pieces of tumble stones in so i'm going to fill that up now So I thought I'd give you all a close up here of the printer's tray so you can see all of the crystals in situ. I really love this, I think it looks great, I think the colours are lovely and it's so practical to just be able to see all of my spare crystals if you will at once and just grab them as and when I need them. And I'm just popping a piece of crystal on our coffee table here. Um, I don't like to keep a lot on this because it's only a small space but I think it works really really well for us. And then here are some geodes, my two favourite geodes, that I have just popped on the telly. Apologies if the sound's a little off, my microphone has run out of charge, but here is the finished living room. I really hope you guys like it. I've got a little crystal on the coffee table there, Himalayan salt lamps, crystals on the TV unit, and of course all of our crystals up here. And of course we have a selenite and another geode in the window. So yeah, I mean, I think that is pretty much it. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was so much fun to film, but, but my God, it took ages. <laughs> but it was really, really enjoyable. I hope you guys enjoyed that too. Just having a little bit of a nosy around my house and obviously seeing where I would put crystals and how I store crystals as well. You can find pieces like the um, printer's tray from like flea markets, car boot sales, charity shops, or I think thrift stores in America, that kind of thing. So yeah, definitely have a rummage around, see what you can find and get quite, you know, you can get quite inventive with that sort of thing. But anyway, I am gonna leave it there because I am tired, <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Stay happy and blessed be.